What is up, guys? It's the Sound Alchemist, and today we're back to answer your questions in an episode of For the Greater yeah. This is a video series where we answer the questions left by you, the viewer. If you are, uh, if you have a question for us, just comment down below. Put question in front of your question, because we get to those questions first. first. And that is what Dragon Punch 903 did. He asks, do you think Conrad Kurz is actually dead? So this is a question that many people have uh, been arguing or commenting or theorizing about because I believe it's in one of the novels. Conrad Kurz has been, he's been causing ruckus essentially. And then he, he's in his barge and an Imperial assassin has been sent to dispatch him. Yeah, so he's the lead, or he is the Primarch of the, the Night Lords. The Night Lords. He was traitor, so he's a bad guy. Uh, and the Imperium is of course out to kill him during the, what is it? the the Great Scouring, I think it's called. I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so he's at, he's on his battle barge. They send in some uh, Calidus assassin, mm -hmm. is it? I think so, yep. The ones that can, like, morph and whatnot. They blend with the hood. <laughs> with the hood, yeah. Uh, and then they confront each other. Yeah. They have a little, like, speech, or they, they talk to each other. Um, a little back and forth going on. And then it's implied that she kills him. But you don't know because... An assassin has a recording device, just like um, how when America killed, um, was it Bin Laden? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. They, they recorded it. It was the SEAL Team 6, was it? And, of course, the president, so Obama, Bush, they all saw live feed of the assassination of this dude. Um, so, same thing with the, with the assassin. There was a live feed of him, or of the assassin, killing the Primarch. Uh, and then the assassin jumps up to, you know, deliver the blow. And then Conrad Kurz um, also goes at it and then it goes blank. And you don't ever see the killing blow. You don't know if it happened. And a lot of people say there's no way a Primite could have been killed by an assassin, uh, no matter how skilled this assassin was. Uh, and then there's the other group that says, well, Conrad Kurz wanted to die so that he can prove a point. Right. And his point was... Um, I kind of forget his point. Was it like that the Emperor didn't really ever care for the Primarchs? Essentially, yeah. Uh, he always, like the thing about Conrad Kurz is that he would get like nightmares and visions of the future. And when the Emperor first saw them, he knew right away like, hey, you know, this guy's going to cause a bunch of destruction, a bunch of billions of lives are going to be lost. Um, so, I mean, that kind of, he's out there trying to prove a point. Yes. <laughs> and um, so we don't ever know later on or, or currently night lords they're still um, you know fighting and whatnot mm -hmm. um, the biggest battle that the night lords have gotten into so far what is it wasn't it with the um, one of those those are the alpha legion um, well well proof that the night lords legion is being led by uh, Conrad Kurz I don't think is out there right? no uh, there hasn't been any sightings of Kurz um, most of the, of the Night Lords, they're just a war band of like renegades. They just go out there, terrorize people, do their thing. And I mean, there's, there's like no real, it seems like there's no real agenda. There's no real leader, you know, leading them towards a certain goal. And that's why, like, in my opinion, I'm with the group of people that say, uh, yes, he allowed himself to be killed by the assassin to prove a point. He no longer exists. I feel like he's still out there. Not leading his night lords, but just waiting for the right time to strike. Or at least, um, since he has these visions, he knows what's going to happen. Maybe he can try to prevent something. Yeah, and he, and he did hate his legions. So. Yeah, he, he never liked, you know, those. Because they were uh, literally a legion of, like, thieves and murderers who became space marines. Thugs, drugs, and killers. Mm -hmm. They all sag. <laughs> can you imagine a space marine sagging, sagging his armor? Yeah. <laughs> And they have wings. Uh, but yeah, comment down below. Do you think that he's alive? Or do you think he, he, he was uh, karate chopped? Yeah. <laughs> Next question. This one's by Shadow. What fictional non-40k character do you guys think should have or would have been a space marine if they were in the 40k universe? Non-fictional. That means fake, right? No, fictional. Oh. Fictional non-40k. So, easily um, Kratos from God of War. I feel like he works perfectly as just like a brutal 
badass, and he would fit right at home in the uh, World Eaters Legion. Yeah, I could see that definitely. Um, I would say uh, Kirby, Kirby, <laughs> and he would be a Saruthi, uh, which is an alien life form. No, I, I, I would have to say, uh, for some reason, I keep thinking Goku, but I don't think Goku would really fit anywhere. He's like a space marine. Well, yeah, yeah. Because they're saying they would be a space marine. That's that's his question. Yeah, I had, for some reason, just go pop them to my head as a space marine. It'd be a goofy space marine. Um, it would just have to be like a really stern, like, hard ass, like the guy from Mass Effect. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. Uh, what for? This is by Ordo Lupus. What Warhammer 40k race do you think is the most tasty? <laughs> Humans. I don't know why, but I feel like squigs would taste good. Like, just put a stick in them and barbecue them. It depends on what kind of squig. The bomb squigs. Bomb squigs? Yeah, a lot of, like, meat, you know? Mm -hmm. But damn, this, this squig is bomb. Like, when you eat chicken, do you like white meat or dark meat? Do you like the I... thighs or the breast? Thighs. You're a thigh man? That's what, white meat? No, thighs are dark meat. Oh, shit. <laughs> Because, like, I think a, a bomb squid would, would have dark meat? No, white meat. Because white meat is, like, the the thicker one, isn't it? Yeah, the stringy one. Think of a chicken breast. I feel like a squig is just a giant chicken breast. I get too dirty when I eat chicken breast, so I don't like eating chicken breast. Yeah, I see that. I always go for the tenders at Popeye's. <laughs> that's, that's good. That's goodness right there. Next question comes from Godzilla B210. For the Sound Alchemist, say for a moment a Chaos Cultist comes to their senses and is looking to escape chaos. They cannot return to humanity, but do they think that the Tau would take them in as a Guevessa? I don't think so, unless it's like a corrupt ethereal trying to just amass, you know, force. Um, I feel like he would take them in somehow mind wipe them or like put some kind of like control device on them and then use them as like expendable militia. What if the Chaos Cultist had no like mutations or anything like that? He was just like a, just a, a worshiper. Dude. Yeah, like a regular dude who's like, who kind of like got into it, saw a couple um, of gross things from Nurgle <laughs> and was like, you know what? Never mind. I'm just going to take my, my vitamin C and go over to the town. Do you think you... <laughs> He would be accepted? I think so. Um, yeah. As long as they're like, yeah, I'll fight, I'll die for the greater good, they'll be like, jump on in. I mean, they freaking allied with the Dark Eldar, the most sadistic, brutal-looking mofos. And they're like, yeah, we trust these guys. <laughs> You're good. It's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Shinra Scary Weather. Which is your favorite extinct Xenos race? Hmm. Squats, maybe? I mean, I mean, they're not they're really kind extinct. Of extinct. <laughs> oh, old ones? Are they extinct? You can consider them. Yeah, extinct, yeah. Um, the Crork. I would say the Crork. Yeah, Crork. Because I want to know the mystery of the Brain Boys. <laughs> were they the old ones or were they not? So I guess the old ones. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> Next question comes from Josh Pratt. What would happen to a child of a knightly house if they were born with psychic powers? Because knightly houses are extremely, like, against the psychicness of everything. Right. Um, would they be taken by the black ships, or would they be tainted as psychers? Or trained as psychers? They wouldn't be trained as psychers because they wouldn't have the ability to train them as psychers. Right. Uh, more than likely, it depends on the house. If, you, if you're creating your own lore and you want to be cool, uh, <laughs> you could say that um, this family really loved this child and actually hid him from the rest of the... Um, uh, society or the, the rest of the family um, and like he somehow manipulated certain things and even maybe even powered a knight uh, but in reality uh, most of the time what would happen is that child would be sent to the black ships or just killed right or who knows maybe they can't even control their powers and they like cause mayhem mayhem warp rift what are the psych psych new ones little bugs that oh yeah yeah yep, the ones that destroyed um Tiska, was it? I believe so. The Thousand Sons, Homeworld. Uh, next question. Elijah Bliss. What are the little babies with angel wings portrayed to be with the blood angels? They're cherubim. Mm -hmm. um, and they're actually not babies. They're like robot things. Yeah. 
they're they're ro well they're I guess androids, right? Yeah. Because the thing about the Imperium is they're extremely scared of AI. So whenever they have a robot, they have to implement it with some type of human, or they have to pair it with humanity somehow. Right. Which is why you have a lot of servitors. Yeah, they just get lobotomized. Mm -hmm. uh, the cherubim would be like, like the skin and and maybe some organs and stuff, and then mold it into the body of a, a baby. If you check out our 40 facts on the cherubim, it explains a little bit more why the Imperium chooses babies. Even though they're, they're, they're cherubim, not babies. <laughs> <laughs> Good question, though. Next question comes from Aldos C. If space hawks travel in the warp, carrying gene stealers, orcs, humans, etc., why aren't they killed by demons? Uh, so, a lot of them are. There's a really good story of a, a group of orcs who, you know, jumped on a space hulk, traveled through the warp, and uh, they were delighted because once they got into the warp, just mayhem. And ton, tons of demons came out and they were, like, killing them. Um, yeah, so it was just <laughs> pretty badass for them. Yeah, I mean, it does happen, it's just not talked about a lot. Yeah, because kind of, it would be boring to say, and the gene stealers entered the hulk, and then they died. <laughs> <laughs> because of a chaos incursion. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Uh, this one's by Jaximus Prime Rib. How did the Imperium capture the Void Dragon? The Emperor that did it. Yes, so back in the 14th century, some, something crazy like that, um, the Emperor was riding a horse and he saw a freaking dragon and then he was fighting and like, that's basically what happened. The Emperor was a knight, he fought a dragon, the dragon was the Void Dragon, and then he like stabbed the Void Dragon with his spear at like a position like under his armpit where like his blades were weakest, and then he was like half dead, and then he carried him up to Mars, and he offered him as like a treaty for Mars and Terra, and yeah. Talk, uh, there's, we talked about it twice I believe, one in 40 facts about the Emperor, and one in 40 facts about the Void Dragon, so check those out. Last question comes from Vic Hunting. How does Gatskul Thraka wipe his ass after taking a <laughs> shit? Does that custom power claw get in those hard to reach places, or does a lucky Grot or Gretchen get the honor of that prestigious job? Love the videos and keep up the good work. So the real question you should be asking is do orcs poop? <laughs> and the question or the answer is Yeah, I guess. I mean, I've never heard or seen anything about poop in, like, orc encampments. No. I mean, it's always, like, dirty, but that's because, like, there's, like, um, trash and, like, robotics and stuff like that. Yeah, and they themselves are just disgusting. What I think happens is that they, like, whenever they have waste, the waste comes out through their, like, sweat um, and tears <laughs> and blood. Um, that's, that's nasty. Imagine if we did it like that. You'd be, like, playing basketball and you just have, like... Shit running down your face. You go to wipe your head, it's just like shit. <laughs> <laughs> but some, yeah. some people smell like that. Especially when we're playing basketball. That's true. Yeah. Remember sumo? Oh, sumo, <laughs> sumo. Um, so yeah, but if, if orcs do, you know... Excrete. Excrete waste, uh, like we do. They're like plants though, right? Yeah. So then they... Remove. Plants, ex well, it's... Carbon, carbon dioxide. Yeah. No, it's oxygen. Oh, it's oxygen, right, 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 right. They, yeah. Um, so they either sweat it or they breathe it out, which is how we get rid of fat. Did you guys know that? Like, when you lose fat, you lose it out through your, your, your breathing. Anyways, uh, so <laughs> if, if they do poop, then there's probably, like, squigs that only eat shit. <laughs> and Gretchen, who, like, might wipe an orc, but I really don't think that orcs wipe. Why would an orc wipe? It just doesn't make sense. Just leave it there. Yeah. Let it crust up. <laughs> and those were the questions for today. As always, guys, uh, put question in front of your question because we get those questions first. If we didn't get to work, if we didn't get to your question today, check back yesterday, the day before that, because we might have covered it. Or you can head on over to our Patreon page. A simple dollar gets you some extra videos a month, as well as our sp patron specific for the Greater Was. I can't speak. Yes. Your question is guaranteed to be answered on the Greek Patreon page. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything, guys. As always, I'm the Sound Alchemist. Gersh 1. And we're out of here. <laughs>